What is up, YouTube? I'm Devon DaVinci, leader of the Renaissance Crew, and you're watching DaVinci Reacts. Uh, one series of videos that has been somewhat of a staple and pretty popular on my channel is the Ricky Gervais Show videos. Um, it's been a minute since I've seen one, but I will go ahead and start tackling them more consistently from now on. Uh, this episode is from Season 2. It's Episode 10, and it's called Leg Rubber. The reason I picked it is because it has a very interesting name, <laughs> as you can imagine. Um... Let's go ahead and get into it, see what it has to offer, and let's hear all the words of wisdom from our, uh, what, what do the people call them? The cue ball? Uh, the, the, the great white eggplant. I don't know. I forgot exactly the name that uh, you guys like to call them, but let's go ahead and get into it, and of course I'm talking about Carl Pilkington. Ricky Gervais and uh, Steve Mer mentioned too. But you know, we all know while we're here, the real star of the show. <laughs> HBO Entertainment presents For the past few years Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series of pointless conversations okay. This is one of them Testing, is that alright? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Ricky Gervais show with me Ricky Gervais Stephen Merchant. Hello. And the little round-headed buffoon that is Carl Pilkington. All right. The little round-headed buffoon that is Carl Pilkington. Carl, when was the last time you reminisced? Well, my mum and dad have been round, haven't they? So we've been yeah. reminiscing a lot. Yeah. Um, what were you thinking about? We were just chatting about um, Tic Tacs. <laughs> <laughs> One of the great memories, yeah. <laughs> the happy memories. Now, I used to love them. <laughs> yeah. When I was younger, yeah, yeah. <coughs> my dad got a load of them. Mm. What, got, this year? No, Just no, recently. years ago. Oh, years ago like years ago, when I loved them, I said I loved Tic Tacs. Me. Yeah. He met one of his mates. He didn't nick him from the sweet shop. No, no, that's no. He knew did. some yeah. mate who uh, the who sweet shop. I load. love how UK and, has uh, nicknames for everything. He must have got about. He, he must have got about thirty crates of Tic Tacs. Thirty crates of Tic Tacs. Honestly, mm. we'd have about twenty-four on each crate. We got them stuck in a cupboard under the. It's Mama Pilkington. Now, I worked my way through about six crates. It's quite happy. Wait, in, how, in how long? I don't know, in about two weeks, three weeks or something. Right. And then uh, after that, I'm getting sick of these. Right, yeah. You were minty fresh, but you're sick lovely of fresh breath. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I haven't got that much more to tell you about it. It's just... Well, just, just this, sorry, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bear in mind, this was something he was recently reminiscing with his parents <laughs> yeah, about. No. They were sat around, and we've already learned up to an hour. Well, I'm going to start... Um, pausing it more and talking uh i think i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm a if it if it starts to get too far over as far as my time limit because you know i can only record for 30 minutes i'm just going to stop the camera and restart it up so i can uh do longer videos if it if it calls for it um i just wanted to comment on this i have had this exact moment on multiple occasions the only two that i can think of off the top of my head are cotton candy and turnovers both of those situations, I had moments where I would eat too much of it, and then it would cause me to not want to ever touch it again. Um, cotton candy was at, uh, obviously, a carnival. I was eating a lot of cotton candy, and I got sick to the point where I never ate it again. For, it took me about, I want to say, like 10 years before I started eating cotton, uh, cotton candy again. And as far as apple turnovers... Um, I used to eat them, I want to say, like, multiple times a day. I want to say, like, at least, like, three turnovers a day when I was a kid. Uh, and then it got to the point where one day I just got so sick of them that I couldn't even smell them being baked in the oven without me, like, feeling like I had to throw up. To this day, I don't eat uh, turnovers, whether it's apple turnovers, cherry turnovers, whatever it is, I don't eat them, period. All right, let's jump back into it. Oh, I could go by reminiscing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For an hour, uh, talking about the, the great I've already run out of responses. I've got yeah. nothing to say about no, no that. Opinion, I mean, right. I was nearly right. going to say, what do you do with the empty little flicky tic tac boxes? Yeah. But then I you mean, realise that that's utterly dull and boring. Uh, well, and I, just, I was struggling. I don't know what this hand like is, other than a yeah. bloke. Other than you said your dad, I like Tic Tacs, me. He went, all right, I talked to Albert. Yeah. Albert, you got Tic Tacs? I've got 30 crates, if that'll do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring him out. Put him under cupboard. He's got through 12 crates. What's his breast like? Fucking lovely, but he's been all the cunting place. Oh, do you want some more? No, of course we fucking don't. You'll talk about that in a this few years' fucking time. lovely, but it's not the problem. No. Then we bring it up on an audio book. But that's, I think that's how we got onto it, because even though 
I, tr I tried to get rid of a load. I used to give them to mates, mm. take them to school, say, have some Tic Tacs. Yeah. You can have them for free. We used a load in the cat litter tray. <laughs> no. No, no we you did. didn't. We did. It no, was just didn't. ways of getting rid of them. Jesus Christ. Sort of freshy, sort of freshy <laughs> smell, isn't it? Well, it's the same amazing. sort of condensity in that, isn't it? Condensity, it is the same condensity. Um, condensity. <laughs> yeah, so I got rid of them like that. And then uh, the weird thing was, even though I'd got shut of them all, um, you'd be backing up and you'd always hear one ting its way up the tube. <laughs> <laughs> it's tinging its way up the tube. It's tinging its way up the tube. It's tinging its way up the tube. Ding tong, ping pong, it's tinging its way up the tube. <laughs> That sounds like something from Willy Wonka. <laughs> oh god! No, it's just I'm just demonstrating that because that's how many of them there were around the house. You'd drop mm. them, they'd go in every corner and that, like that man or something. They'd be that's everywhere. You'd be back amazing. Up, tinging it up. Sheila's getting married. How to get confetti? Don't buy any confetti. Go to cupboard under stairs. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's a little memory there, isn't it? It that is a little memory. Up. No, it's, it's a, a really th little memory. Th the strange Tic Tac house in yeah. Salford <laughs> where. Carl Pilkington's family just went and crashed weddings just so we can throw Tic Tacs at the bride. <laughs> yeah, uh, we weren't invited. We just had to get rid of these. Um, so, yeah, that's a little memory there, isn't it? It that is a little memory. No, it's, it's a, a really th little memory. Th the strange Tic Tac house in yeah. Salford where everything is made of Tic Tacs. <laughs> wow, that must have been a hell of, that's a, hell of a time you had with your parents there oh. in the old Tic Tac No, but it's better. You see, you're, you're saying, oh, what a boring story that is. Yeah. But when yeah. when see you've uh, re-graveled the drive. <gasps> yeah, smell it. <laughs> suck, suck the drive if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> no, but it's different. When my mum and dad are there and they can remember that and they're going, oh yeah, yeah, the Tic Tac incidents and stuff. <laughs> it's known as the Tic Tac incident. <laughs> tic Tac incident, incident of 63. Oh. The tic -tac incident. I just imagine the clock ticking there. It's Christmas Day. They go, what are you smiling at? Oh, I remember it used to ting up the tube. <laughs> <laughs> you should think about sending this to Hollywood. Listen, what do you remember then? <laughs> House looks what like do you uh, remember? Wit from That's uh, Hansel and Gretel. That's say. a difficult question to answer. Yeah, I don't. Nothing. Nothing at all. Carl, I know you like to be kept abreast of all the latest breaking science news. Did you read recently about the blind mice that they have been able to make see again? And, um,. Hopefully, they're, they're, whatever they did, which allowed these mice to be able to see again, they're hoping to be able to do oh boy. with humans in maybe about 10 years' time, or at least begin tests. Extraordinary, isn't it, to be able to... I mean, to be able to cure blindness would be a it, remarkable it, achievement right, in science. Here we go. It is, but it's just that thing how they say they've done it on mice and what have you. Yeah. If I was blind and I went in for the meeting, mm. the doctor, yeah. and they said, do you want yours doing? And then they said, like... Mm. Done it on mice. That wouldn't be good enough for me. I'd say, look, when the blind fella gets in, don't say we've done it on mice. Just say we've done this on eyes. Because if he goes, what eyes? Just say just a pair of eyes. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you say mouse's eyes, it's like, well, it's, it's not the same. And it sort of, it would make me go, I'll leave it. Yeah. And then you, you, you wake up and you can see, but. You've got very tiny eyes right in the... <laughs> right there. You put in mice eyes. <laughs> I'm scared of cats. <laughs> uh, OK, to be fair, I know why they test on mice. I think it has something to do with mice being very closely biologically similar to humans. So, like, they usually have a bunch of different animals they test on, and it's kind of like a stepping ladder, like one animal... Okay, I worked on that one. Let's go to the next animal that's closer to humans. Okay, I worked on that. Let's go to the next animal closer to humans. Usually mice is like one of the top ones to uh, test on. And if it works on mice, then it's a high chance that it'll work on humans too. But, um... <laughs> it gave me mouse eyes. I'm afraid of cats. <laughs> it's just eyes. I think I just don't like having my eyes messed with. And even if it was blind, you know, I just I wouldn't like it. Right. Uh, and I think mine are more active than most. My eyes. What do you mean? <laughs> um, well, I went for a what's-her-name, Steve. You don't know. I've, I've had mm. uh, problems with my legs. Oh. 
I still mate. He's the same. What are you? Thirty three. He's a hypochondriac. And you talk like you're a seventy year old. Honestly, man. the slightest <laughs> thing. He's got time off work for this. We went to the dentist three Ow. times in one week. He goes now his legs Ow. rubbed two times a week for no, some I reason. Don't. I don't. In and out of the kidney hospital, and they're going. There's no kidney stone, Mr. Pilton. He's going. Oh, right. Christ oh. Almighty, do some fucking work. No, the thing is, I've been <laughs> in the last like thirty odd years. I've been working hard, and I've let my body get run down a bit. How have you... You're 30... What are you? 30... 33. Right, oh. 33. Sorry to start off with such a hard question. But <laughs> how have you been working for 30 years? Well, I just have. I sort of... Uh, I got on with it. At three? <laughs> at three? No, I'm well, just you didn't saying... get on with anything at school, did you? Because you were just <laughs> hitting a bag. Yeah. You weren't working yeah. out there. What was the first job you got? How old were you? Uh, I was 15. Right, OK, so you've been working for 15 years then. OK, good, Yeah, but right. I had my paper round when I was 10, didn't I? And that was, that was hard graft. That's why I'm bald and that, getting up at half four. It all adds <laughs> up, doesn't it? All adds up. So anyway, uh, mm. I kicked me height when I was a kid. <laughs> He always says this, A, like it's a classic story that everyone should know. Everyone and also right. the phrase, kicking my own height. Yeah. No, Explain so. what you mean. Just kick me out when I was. I when no I was kick your, no one understands. Yeah, kick I, I don't know. To I the height that you were at that time. Yeah. Yeah. So I kicked you were, my height. It's not a well-known phrase. You can't just go. I kick me out. So you were. So you were four and a half foot, and you've put your toe up into the air four and a half feet by kicking. Yeah, but I, I landed on my back. Right. Okay. <laughs> Imagine seeing that in the playground. They go get <laughs> Carl Pilkington to kick his eye. I bet he falls over like a fucking penguin. It wasn't penguin. in the playground. My dad got me to do it in the garden. Brilliant. <laughs> so why, why did he you fall over? He sold tickets. The neighbours were cracking <laughs> up. Yeah. Why did you fall over? Did, did, you, did you hit I yourself just in the I head? I didn't have a kick the eye. I mean, my leg got high up, but I was that chuffed that I got that high, I didn't think of putting my leg down again. <laughs> no, I didn't! Like, what the fuck did that <laughs> He's got to think it all through. I thought it was automatic. <laughs> no, in my like, you, you, you stayed there. You, you sort of stayed oh, balanced. Christ But you almighty. didn't think, well, I'm loving this, this is brilliant, but I, what should I do now? I, <laughs> I got my leg up, I'll just keep yeah. it up. Whoa! <laughs> I get the salute with his leg. What? what were you doing? So anyway, I landed on my back, yeah. and... Uh, and I did some damage, I think. Yeah, and it's because definitely. of that. You sure you didn't land on your head? And it's because of that, like, oh, all, like all them years <laughs> and what have you. Yeah. I've had, like, a trapped nerve in my leg. Right. So I thought, right, now's the time to have it done. Because when you get older... I mean, it was the kidney stone thing. Once you've seen... Once you've sort of looked at, you know, death and what have you, mm. uh, it just makes you think... Got to start looking after your body. Do you think you could die of the, the uh, slightly bad leg that you've had for fifteen years? <laughs> well, you just... do you think that'll eventually kill you? Well, well, it could do if I can't run away from danger quick enough. Right. Again, you're thinking of <laughs> Jurassic Park coming true. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. Look after yourself. You know, if there's anyone listening, you could always there, who's, who's got a problem, get it sorted. I tell you what, though, if you have to fight off. To if if he had a, a show where he talked about Jurassic Park, I gotta watch it. Jurassic Park is my favorite, one of my favorite movies ever. So. I really want to get his input on the Jurassic Park topic. <laughs> well, whatever then. I'm just saying, you've yeah. got to look after yourself. You know, if there's anyone listening you could always there, hop. Who's, who's got a problem, get it sorted. I'll tell you I'll what, though, if you have to fight off danger and you kick them, put the leg back down immediately <laughs> after. <laughs> so anyway, so I went to see this fella to, uh, like, a professional uh, leg rubber. A um, professional leg rubber, yeah. And he's, uh, he, he sort of said... Uh, a few things that were quite interesting. Mm. Remember that time when we had a chat on the last lot of, like, podcasts? I said, am I in charge of my brain? Or is my brain in charge of me? Yeah, do you remember what I said? It's the most stupid thing you've ever said. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, listen to this then. So oh. I go and see this leg rubber. Professional leg rubber, yeah. Right, and he is professional. <laughs> yeah. right, remember, so you... a leg rubber. You haven't said doctor at any <laughs> yeah. point in this conversation. He's a leg rubber. So, mm -hmm. so this, this, whatever, however profound this is, it came from a man who is self-confessed professionally leg rubbing. Not just leg. Does he, he do back, left and right? Or? Back, back rubbing as well, he does it all. Right, right. right. So I'm in there, rubber. and I didn't mention about how I thought my brain was, you know, was in charge of me and stuff. Uh I'm lying there, he's bending me about and what have you. Mm. The first problem he came across is that my nerves aren't long enough for right. my body. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my nerves aren't long enough for your body. He yeah. was lifting my legs up and I was going, right, don't, whoa, stop that a minute, that's certain that. He's like, what do you mean? He said, I've only got them like, like just about. Well, that's your tendons. No, no, but your nerves are in your legs as well and your tendons don't hurt, it's your nerves that kick in. It's your nerves that make you well, go. Yeah, that but hurt. they hurt because your tendons are being overstretched. Well, I'm just telling you what he said. Right, so so he lifted the leg up, and I went right. Was stop this doing above that. a laundrette? This surgery? 
No, it's a proper place. They had like <laughs> towels and all that on oh, the okay. Oh, he's got towels. Oh, there. okay, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. definitely laundry. So, so I'm lying there. <laughs> Other people's towels. He's got yeah, towels under his pants, yeah, bras. Yeah, halfway through, he said, You haven't got 20p, have you, for the dryer? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I'm lying there and he lifts the leg up yeah. and I'm like, oh, that hurts a lot. Mm. So he said, oh, yeah, short nerves. And I said, what do you mean? He said, you, you know, your, your outside of the body is longer than your inside. Right, he doesn't sound like a doctor. He does not sound like a doctor. <laughs> outside of your body's yeah. longer than the inside. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he, he had me lying on my front and what have you and he was sort of crushing me back. Right. And he's going, does that hurt? I said, yeah. It was like 48 quid, this as well. Mm -hmm. Put me through all this pain and what have you. Well, you got some good <laughs> advice there. He said, you're pretty stressed. And I said, yeah. So it's, you know, I have quite a bit of stress in my life. And I explained to him about the kidney stones and that. I said, oh, you know, that, that's that. He went, oh, shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> he, probably said that, he said, that's where you were probably got a lot of tenseness. A lot of tenseness. Mm. Is that the phrase he used as yeah, a trained no, professional rubber? He's a, or? He's a, he's a doctor. He's definitely a doctor. So anyway, yeah. he said, do you relax much? You, you know, haven't you... got any Lenore, have you? <laughs> I want these sheets to come out nice and soft. <laughs> he said, do you, uh, you know, you should learn to meditate or something. He said, because, you, you know, you, you're all tensed up. Mm. We're living in a stressful world, as I tell me about it. So when I was telling him that I had problems relaxing, mm. he said, oh, he said that you're obviously the sort of person... Who's, who's colourful enough to spend 46 quid for this? <laughs> oh, come on. He said, you're the sort of person <laughs> whose brain is in charge of them rather than them being in charge of the so brain. So all you did was you met a person as stupid as you. <laughs> yeah. No, but I thought it's interesting that he's, he, this is what he does for a living. Yeah. And he picked yeah, up, that wrong. was the first visit. That's the first, I'd only been there about 22 minutes. Yeah. You get half an hour for 48 quid. Right. But uh, he, he picked up on that yeah. within like... 15, no, he saw it right, fucking sucker coming. No, he did pick up on that, yeah. Okay. But anyway, don't, the reason... Don't go to him again. The reason, uh, well, I am doing, I've got locked into it, I've got to go at least another three times Why? and try what to get out of it. I don't know, you I didn't realise that you have to have a minimum <laughs> amount of things. So what I'm saying... I can't wait, well, what's the wisdom he's going to come up with next week? That'd be brilliant. I will kind of, yeah. No, but what I'm saying Your is... Your blood's paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> You've got jealous bones. You're the sort of person whose stomach's hungrier than you. <laughs> what absolute fucking nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, like, how we were talking about eyes, weren't we? He said, uh, he said the thing is, you know, you've got to be able to relax and uh, the way to do it is to focus, right? He said, mm. uh, so what do you mean? He said, when you go to sleep... You're the sort of person whose eyes can see further than you can. <laughs> so when you go to sleep... Uh, Close your eyes. And see the... <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the moment of staring at the but Carl, keep breathing. <laughs> yeah, keep breathing. Close your eyes. You're not dead. It may seem like it, but you're not. You're just asleep. So he said, uh, oh, fuck me. He said, he said, what you've got to do when you go to sleep, focus <laughs> on your toe. Right? <laughs> okay. He said, I'm just thinking about nothing else. I said, He's a witch. <laughs> did, did, did he say you didn't put a toad under the bed? No, he just said, focus on the toe and mm. uh, see how you go on and what have you. Next time you come in, let me know. Anyway, I gave this a go, focusing on the toe. Uh, so what does this mean? You mean you sat in bed staring at your toes? No, this is it. He, he said, like, lie down, shut it. your eyes and, and sort of look at it sort of thing. So I was lying there mm. and it just wasn't working because... Oh, Carl, this isn't medicine. Because I was... <laughs> you were, even you were thinking eyes, of a finger. Well, no. It, <laughs> He found out he was thinking of someone else's toe. Yeah. The next day, someone called him and said, Carl, my toe's better. Yeah. No, the problem was I was still using my eyes even though I had them shut. <laughs> What does that mean? I was straining. <laughs> I had them shut, but I was sort oh, of yeah. looking down at me. You were trying to see through your eyelids at your toe. Well, I was, oh, I was looking down something, and that's where the foot is. Oh. Because of that, oh. I was straining them, and they were stinging. So I had to oh, pack it in. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. I am going to die. Oh. Oh, why, man. out of interest though, and this is this oh. will sound naive, why oh, don't we remember the very early moments of our oh, lives? Man. Why why is it is it is it because it would be too harrowing to remember the point at which we uh sort of born? Because I don't really remember anything from those first few mm. years. Why why is it? Is it just because the brain's not fully formed at that moment? Uh, I don't know. The memory's not sufficiently uh, I, I, developed. I, I, I it's gotta be trauma, on it. It's the things again, we were talking about me being younger, and the youngest I could remember back to was nineteen seventy eight. How old were you then? Uh, when were you born? 72. 
What, you, can only, you couldn't remember earlier than six? Um, you can remember back to about two or three, most people. What, you... No, no way. No way. My mum and dad don't even remember them. <laughs> <laughs> because you're not doing anything. This is what I'm saying. Mum and dad don't even remember me then. That's amazing. Because oh, they, 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 they oh, pinpoint they things. They remember all the times <laughs> they remember yeah. Yeah. Do you remember when Carl was uh, six? Of course I do. Oh, yeah. Five? Yeah. Four? <laughs> yeah. Three? No. <laughs> Two? No! Because you're not doing anything, are you? <laughs> my mum and dad don't even remember so, me then! And, and it's oh, weird. I remember it must have been about two sitting on a potty surrounded by Lego. I remember that. Very st strong image I have of that. No, I don't remember that. No, you wouldn't remember that, were you? Were you? What do you mean? Why, you don't remember Steve sitting on a potty surrounded by Lego? No, I mean, I can't remember having a potty. I remember having well, one of... I'm not suggesting no, you have the you same memory. You used to go on your fucking litter tray. Now I know why, to eat a Tic Tac while you're having a shit. But, OK, um, so what is your very first memory? The one that cropped up the other day was having my eyes sort of uh, glued together by... Um, <laughs> Gangsters. <laughs> Where's the fucking Tic Tacs? <laughs> no, we lost our old truck for you. <laughs> when, I, when I was on holiday, somebody uh, stole our shit with the Tic Tacs. I used to wake up in the morning with my eyes shut. My mum and dad thought I was having a lovely lie in. I was just couldn't open my eyes. But why? Why were they glued? Why were they? What do you mean they were glued? Wait, wait, but just why didn't you say, Mum, Dad, I'm not asleep. My eyes are glued together. It's just you get a build up on the yeah, on the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it all. It, <laughs> And you could sense them looking at I didn't know they were there. <laughs> <laughs> they were by the ass for help. I went to what's now? Help. Harley Street. I went for a, a checkup. Mm. And uh, like a medical. Mm. Posh. You know Harley Street. It's like yeah. it's the top doctors, isn't it? I've never yeah. been before. Yeah. All posh buildings and that. I uh, mm. went up to the counter. I said, uh, I see the doctor. They said, name, yeah. Right. Give us ten minutes. Go and wait in the waiting room. Dead posh waiting room, dead fancy, big leather furniture and that. Yep. Loads of magazines. I mean, like a, like a news agents yep. in the middle of the room on a table, loads of them. So I'm looking through and there's the you know there's the top quality ones. Your Esquire, you know GQ, classy, Yacht Weekly, uh, all that, Country Life, uh, Boys, Boys. It's one there, yeah. Boys. What's that? Right, lifted up like the one on top of it, and it's like boys with a Z. Two fellas stood there. That's something that has to stop, goddammit. It's Z. We will all agree right now that it's Z. It is not Z. The Renaissance crew, I have spoken. In this group, we we identify it as Z, goddammit. If you don't agree with that, you can just go ahead and unsubscribe right now. <laughs> oh, let's go get back into it. Looking, uh, sort of Italian looking. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, right. Dungarees on. Uh, no shirt, though. No shirt, just dungarees sort of unbuttoned, hanging down a little bit. Sure. So no one else is about. I'm never going to buy a magazine like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going you're to tell us you looked through you a couple of magazines? I had, I had a little little look, just because I thought, you know, like I say, you, it's one chance. You're always chance. looking to learn, aren't you? You're always looking to learn, yeah. Always open, you know, there might have been something in there that I go, right, I get it now, I understand why, why they like doing that or whatever. Yeah, all right. So uh, she said I was going to, you know, 10 minute wait. I can, I can have a quick flick through. Mm. Picked it up, had a look. Um, still none the wiser. Why? Well, what did you see when you opened it up? Um, just loads of... Uh, I mean, like I've said to you before about I don't know why they like looking at knobs when they've got one of their own. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's no right. surprises there. You're not going to go... Oh, right, right. So sure, yeah. Nice. yeah. <laughs> Some had, like, car oil on the face. Uh not about. Yeah. There was someone sat on a, like a, a one of them square things of hay. Oh yeah, sat a bale. There, like a sort of sat on it, hay. straddling it. Yeah, uh, that must have been uncomfortable. Again, not about. Yeah, yeah, just looking, just looking like it's normal. That's crazy. Like that. No <laughs> farmer walks <laughs> <on> that. <laughs> What's the other one? There was a uh, you know motorbike. They always like them. Yeah. So I'm going through and and then like the content is all puns. Right. It it, it all everything was to do with knob. Right. That's the only bit they're interested in. <laughs> in the <laughs> look, at, look at this bloke it's striding not... this huge throbbing thing. The bike's not bad either. Yeah, yeah all that. Yeah. Loads of them. Uh, it was just, uh, uh, just all, just, just cock. Just 
hundred percent. Like, let's mm-hmm. let's just talk about the knob. Mm-hmm. That's a yeah. good name for a, uh, ma- a game magazine. Hundred percent cock. Hundred percent cock. Did it not at any moment sort of maybe slightly unnerve you that you might the doctor might come in and see you reading? Boys. No, because I wasn't. Or what about if I walked through? Because I remember once when you were in hospital about to have um, a tube going down your knob and you were sitting in your pants with stockings on and I walked through and you were horrified. So what if I'd have walked in then and went, yeah, Carl, I what are you doing? I would have just said, look at this. Look at this, it's free. And I, and you, and I said, why did you bring that with you? It's kind no, of I weird just said, look, that the doctor... Like brought it with me. Look yeah, yes, it does, because I've never what? seen... Because so I would never see... You would never see a gay magazine in a doctor's waiting room. So I think you bought that and then and pretended that it was that's, there. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. That's I was amazed by that. Because there was no, like, you know, there was no Mayfair or anything. They just catered for, like, if you wanted a bit of knob action. <laughs> <laughs> it was really... I mean, really, I could have complained. Yeah, sure. So if you're going to have this, where's a bit of the other? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. You had a bit of this, where's a bit of the other? I know one of the things that, that they had, and I thought, they're, they're really struggling with, like, ideas. They had a Sococo. <laughs> what? <laughs> As in Sudoku? Yeah. Sococo. Surely, surely Sudico is better. No, because it was, like, Sococo. Yeah, but it's dick as well. Subdico. Yeah. What and it's it was still a Sudoku style puzzle, but yeah, it just had that name. Yeah, yeah. It's just so everything. Not, it it's was all just Sudoku, but called so- Coco. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Now, that. if I if I was gay, do you know like let's have say, a game of Lubo. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a game of Knobopoly. Knoberation. Knoberation. <laughs> 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 let's have a game of chess. <laughs> we we, we kind of lost a little bit of creativity towards the end. <laughs> Let's have a game of fuckaroo. <laughs> well, that works for either sex. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. That's how we spend our okay, Christmases. Fuck a poo. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm in love with these uh, shows. Um, looks like I still have a little bit more time, so I can go ahead and wrap it up, I guess. But I really enjoyed this. If you guys did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Um, yeah, I will have more of these in the very near future, so be sure to be on the lookout for them. Um, but until then, I'm going to go ahead and give you the deuces. I'm Devon Da Vinci, and you've just been enlightened. Deuces. <laughs>